Hey, welcome to another edition of uh, Questy's Rant Farm. I'm Questy from the Watchtowerpodcast.com. Look us up at www.thewatchtowerpodcast, and you can also hear or and see uh, features from Jeff Moss, who's my co-host of The Watchtower. Um, this week on The Rant Farm, I want to talk about fan exclusivity, because this week on The Watchtower, we talked about you know, R2-D2 showing up in the Star Trek movie, which apparently happens, and then on the message boards everywhere, fans are outraged that you can only like one or prefer one over the other, and they should never collide, and so on and so forth. And it'd be heresy if it ever happened, and blah, blah, blah. No. The same thing happens in comic book shops a lot of time. I notice that people are very either big DC supporters or very big Marvel supporters. Uh, I'll probably get criticized and say that I'm not much of a big DC supporter, but that's not actually true. Uh, I suffered from the same thing as a kid. I used to only be into Marvel Comics, and then it wasn't until about, I don't know, I ended high school that somebody was like, no, man, you should check out some really good Batman stories. And then my world expanded. Who'd have thought that my life would only get better by not being closed-minded? It's okay to prefer one thing over another or like one character more than another character or to prefer DC style of writing over Marvel style of writing or images bang-tastic blow-up gore fest over, you know, the beautiful art of IDW storytelling, but you can still enjoy everything at the same time, much like Star Trek or Star Wars. It can be done, I'm telling you it can, and your life would be better if you just open up to all things. And that's all I'm saying.